So many flat earthers also believe the earth is stationary and not moving. And one of the claims I see frequently from them is that there has been no experiment conducted that demonstrates the rotation of the earth. Now that is completely wrong. I have conducted one of those experiments myself and it is looking at something called the Eotvos effect. And what that means is the change in the perceived gravitational force caused by the change in centrifugal acceleration resulting from eastbound or westbound velocity. So those videos are on my channel and I will place a link in the description below. But just to summarize, the idea here is that if an aircraft is flying at 500 miles per hour across the ground and the earth is rotating, it is actually moving around curvature faster when it is flying east than when it is flying west. And the result of the centrifugal force generated should be measurable. Objects should appear lighter when the aircraft is flying east compared to when it is flying west. And I repeated this experiment myself numerous times flying east and west and also flying north and south for a comparison. And the results are in my videos on my channel. What I want to show you now is just a short video that was compiled by Flow Plus, taking some of the data from my previous videos and comparing them side by side on a flight westbound from Sydney to Broome and eastbound from Perth to Sydney. I'll play that video now. So as you can see very clearly, the overall average weight is less when flying east than when flying west. And this is exactly what we would expect on a rotating Earth. When I first produced my video, our friend Walter Bislin developed this excellent calculator which allows us to predict the expected result for any given situation. You can input your location on the Earth, your speed and your direction, and it will predict the reduction in weight expected from the motion of the aircraft around the curvature. And on this blog, he also shows a screenshot which was taken from my own aircraft, confirming that we were flying east and that the G-meter inside the aircraft itself was registering 0.99 G. It was detecting the lesser weight due to the Eotkos effect flying east. And this is something I have challenged flat earthers to test and verify for themselves. But to date, none of them have. In fact, I even offered free flights to a number of prominent flat earthers so that they could try this themselves. But of course, they refused. I don't think they really want to know the truth at all. <laughs> 